In 2002, Insomniac presented the PS2 with a game that changed the way gamers looked at platform shooters. Say hello to Ratchet and Clank. In the year that preceded it, players were given Jack and Daxter, a game that introduced the same ideas, but was completely overshadowed by its furry adversary. Not to say that the developers had a rivalry, quite the contrary. Naughty Dog agreed to share its engine for the game, and in return, Insomniac would share its improvements. And improve it did. Ratchet and Clank gave the players the chance to fight off alien lifeforms and collect a powerful arsenal of weapons, all the while throwing in jokes to keep in the lighthearted feel. Gameplay. While Jack and Daxter was a great game, its focus on gathering items to advance caused it to feel more like a collection game rather than a platform shooter. Ratchet and Clank succeeded in keeping in the collection of items while laying the main focus on progressing through the story. The game begins with Ratchet meeting a small robot who tasks him with saving the universe from an evil alien overlord. From there, you progress through the game, jumping over obstacles, collecting powerful weapons, and fighting menacing robots. The controls are simple to learn, but allow for a lot of creativity. While you start with a wrench, your melee weapon, you can collect guns and explosives in order to dispatch enemies more easily. Jumping and gliding all feel very smooth. The developers knew this was a platform game, and you can tell they put a lot of effort into the controls. This game has many natural breaks, splitting each level into different worlds. While some games give you an open world to explore and progress through, Ratchet and Clank is more linear. Once you're done with one world, you move on to the next, leaving the player with a sense of satisfaction after completing each level. Insomniac's ability to break down a game as large as Ratchet and Clank into small bite-sized pieces is what makes this game so enjoyable. The visuals. Ratchet and Clank's visuals fit the light-hearted humor it presents perfectly. While games like Tomb Raider gave a more intense realism to platform shooters, Insomniac gave this game a more colorful presentation. Every world has a different look and feel. You start out on your home planet where everything is colorful and bright. But as you push farther into the game, the levels take on a more industrial look. Less nature, more machinery. Cutscenes are also very well done. Usually given to the player in the form of video transmissions, cutscenes are the primary form of humor in this game. All in all, the developers did a very good job on the visuals of Ratchet and Clank. But honestly, could we expect any less? They did give us games like Spyro the Dragon. Sound effects and music, yeah! Sound effects are definitely more prevalent in this game than music. While each part of the game has background music, you can tell the developers wanted the player to focus more on the gameplay rather than the music. Sound effects, on the other hand, are a completely different story. Every time you hit something with your wrench or shoot something with your devastator, you hear a clunk or an explosion. But in no way is this a bad thing. Every clunk and explosion has its place in this game, and it goes along with its sense of cartooniness, if I may. The explosions make you feel as if you are causing a tremendous amount of damage, and that's extremely satisfying. While I can tell Insomniac wanted the players to focus on what they were doing rather than the music, I can't help but feel that this game could have had some better music. Something epic that made you want to fight aliens and blow up robots. You know, the kind of music they have in Dragon Ball Z that makes you want to punch the kids sitting next to you. Now for the conclusion. Oh god, finally! Ratchet & Clank definitely takes the name Platform Shooter to a new level. Its focus on gameplay, rather than the collection of items, sets it apart from others of its genre. 
The amount of customization and replayability makes you want to sit down and find those hard to reach golden bolts. Its visuals, while cartoony indeed, allow this game to catch the eye of any gamer looking for something new. Worlds are bright and colorful, and the explosions make you wish you had a robotic companion to adventure around with. Ratchet & Clank was originally released on the PlayStation 2, but its successors can be found on a variety of consoles, PS2, PS3, and PSP. But if you're looking to play the original, you can buy it new for 10 bucks on Amazon. I'd like to give a big thanks to Mr. Trinandez123 for suggesting this game for review. I extremely enjoyed it. That also goes for any of our viewers. If you would like us to review a game, please post a comment on one of our videos, or email us at 32.5bitreviews at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and subscribe! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe?